Although 50 Cent and Diddy have been at odds for a while, their conflict has intensified significantly in recent months. On the backdrop of the latter's numerous lawsuits alleging sexual assault, Fifth has gone full online offensive on the founder of Bad Boy Records. He often implies things about Diddy's sexual orientation and the kinds of things that happen at his gatherings. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Most recently, Jacksonville native 50 Cent shared a tape from an old Mace interview on social media, appearing to connect Diddy to well-known drag queen RuPaul. Have you spoken to Puff lately? Well, actually, we not, we not speak in terms, but... In a 2002 interview, Mace discusses his feelings over Diddy's potential release of a gospel album. Wait, well, Pete Diddy's supposed to be releasing a gospel album. What, what came to When you heard that... Continued, revealing how he felt about Puff putting out a gospel album. I mean, can RuPaul put out a gospel album? He asked the interviewers. But, you know, I still pray for the dude. And 50 Cent shared an old video of Method Man talking about Can I West earlier this week. The New Yorker claims in the video that he despises ye and even claims to have witnessed. Plus, I seen a nigga at one of pop parties and shit sucking dick in the bathroom. The implication wasn't shocking because 50 Cent frequently makes mention of Diddy's notorious parties. Additionally, he constantly draws attention to the dubious things that are purported to occur there. This has not been confirmed, he captioned the post. But you see why I stayed away from the man's party's WTF at Branson Cognac at Lekamindjeroy. Method Man, a member of the Wu-Tang Clan, was drawn to the uncovered footage and offered his opinion in the comments section. He asserted that the video had been altered and urged viewers to see the entire thing on YouTube. He says followers can't hold him responsible for not wanting to be involved in the fight between 50 Cent, and Diddy. This video fake five you and Diddy keep me out of this shit, he wrote, also including a series of laughing emojis. The real vid is on YouTube do your research y'all fallen for the remix, he then added. Shopping or some shit, I mean like I paid for it, and I was like what the fuck this nigga just say? 50 Cent's 2010 rant against Diddy regarding his relationship with Cassie has resurfaced following the accusation of rape by his ex-girlfriend. In an interview with DJ Wu Kid on Shade 45, 50 claimed he was sent explicit photos of Cassie, and confronted Diddy over the phone about it. Matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of this girl, like he said, referring to Cassie. Not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. Like penetration pictures. I called the nigga. I said, Yo, you really, you fucking with this girl? Like you really, like you like her? He said, Yeah, that's my girl. I'm gonna send you something. You look at it. You call me back. He continued. I sent him the photos, the pictures, and everything. And the nigga called back and was like, yo, thanks, man, about us tonight, y'all, I really appreciate that. Yo, where you get these shits from? They know if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'll make sure it gets out there, so they send it to me. I really kind of felt like those photographs were not happening because of Cassie, I felt like they were happening because of Puffy. During the interview, 50 also referred to Diddy as a bitch and mocked him for his Diddy, Dirty Money trio, implying that he teamed up with Don Richard and Kalen a Harper in order to be the hot one in the group and attract other men. He added, he'll tell you himself, what happens in Miami, stays in Miami. Later you gonna find out the little shit that I be saying, man. 50 Cent has some thoughts on Diddy's recent lawsuit settlement with Cassie, and he doesn't waste any time in roasting the bad boy CEO. When it comes to the dynamics of their hip-hop landscape, 50 Cent and Diddy's strained relationship is one of New York's pillars. Of course, because the former is such a troll, everything the latter does eventually comes under his scrutiny. This was a much more serious case because it involved Cassie's allegations of sexual and physical abuse against the bad boy mogul. While they reached an agreement quickly, the G-Unit MC believes Sean Combs' public retribution is far from over. Furthermore, he took to Instagram to express his thoughts on this development, and speculate on what might come next. LOL, 50 Cent bluntly began his post's caption, which was a screenshot of a news story covering Diddy's settlement. He paid that money real quick, should have done that before the shark saw the blood in the water. And here they come in five, four, three, two, one every woman he ever put his hand on. I'm trying to tell you, nah. nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? In fact, one of the resurfaced comments about Diddy came directly from 50 Cent himself, though the story is more bizarre. Fuck me up, yeah. I'm looking like, what the fuck this nigga just like during an old interview, presumably for a drink champ's appearance, he allegedly told Diddy that he wanted to take him shopping. I want to take you shopping! <laughs> it's unclear whether the Queen's rapper simply thought this was strange, or if he saw it as an invitation to be groomed or shown more than a good time. When a nigga tell me you want to take me shopping. Still, it's such a chaotic clip that it's clear they didn't think much of it at the time. But Fifth's sense of humor didn't stop him from warning people that Combs isn't who he appears to be. <laughs> 
Cassie, on the other hand, has already received a lot of support and backing from her industry peers. Furthermore, the NYPD is conducting an investigation into Sean Combs at the moment, according to law enforcement. The case is marked as active, but its details are locked, indicating a high level of sensitivity with limited access. Cassie's allegations of rape, assault, battery, and human trafficking have undoubtedly heightened the gravity of the situation. Furthermore, the suit claims that as their relationship ended in 2018, he barged into her home and sexually assaulted her. Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations, Diddy's attorney Ben Braffman stated. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Ms. Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million, under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Ms. Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs's reputation and seeking a payday. After years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships," Cassie expressed in a statement concerning the accusations against Diddy. Mr. Combs offered Ms. Ventura eight figures to silence her and prevent the filing of this lawsuit, her lawyer Douglas Wigdor. She rejected his efforts. Overall, there are also a host of other horrible allegations concerning the New York music mogul's actions against Cassie and against others, all of which he is denying. In fact, the suit claims that he was so enraged by her dating Kid Cutie that he blew up his car on the highway. According to reports, Cutie confirmed this through a spokesperson, though it's unclear whether this only refers to the car exploding or Combs being to blame. More information or discussion about this will almost certainly emerge in the coming days and weeks. On that note, keep checking back for the most recent Diddy news and updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.